Well, tonight, after so many nights of bringing you the news here on Q2, this will be my last. After much thought, it's time. I still feel like I just graduated from the University of Montana School of Journalism and started my first news job less than a month later on Q2's daybreak. I was only supposed to be here for two to three years, but I fell in love with the Billings boy, my Q2 family, a community, and you, our dedicated viewers. This was a heart-wrenching decision literally just reached in the last couple weeks. I'd like to thank my Q2 colleagues and friends who've helped me grow and who grew up with me inside and outside the Q2 newsroom and studio. The good days and the not so good days. I've learned so much from each and every one of you. Thanks to my family and friends, all of you who loved me, supported me, and texted me on set to tell me there was a box elder bug on my sweater or what dresses I should never wear again. Thank you to our viewers. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming me into, and my team into your home every night at 5.30 and 10 over this last decade. Thank you for allowing us to bring you the day's news, the breaking details, and the stories that impacted your lives. And finally, for those of you who allowed me to tell your stories, personal, difficult, inspiring, and even life-changing, you helped me grow, communicate, inform, and educate others across our community, state, and sometimes even beyond. Thank you.